everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you step by step how to dual boot Zorin OS 18 and Windows 11 safely and easily. We'll cover everything from system requirements, downloading Zorin OS, creating a bootable USB, partitioning your hard drive, installing Zorin OS, and finally, shh, how to remove it later if you change your mind, so let's jump right in. Before we start, here are a few things you'll need. One, a computer running Windows 11. Two, at least 20 gigabytes of free space for Zorin OS, but 30 gigabytes or more is better. Three, a USB flash drive, at least eight gigabytes. Four, a stable internet connection, five, and most importantly, back up your files just in case. All right, first, let's download Zorin OS 18. Go to the official Zorin OS website. You'll see different editions. Zorin OS 18, Core, Pro, and Education. For most users, I recommend the Core Edition as it's free and perfect for everyday use. Click Download and wait for the ISO file to finish downloading. Next, we'll download Rufus a free tool to create bootable USB drives. Go to Rufus' official site and download the latest version. Once downloaded, open Rufus. No installation needed. Now plug in your USB drive and open Rufus. Here's what to do. Under device, select your USB Under Boot Selection, choose your Zorin 18 ISO file. Under Partition Scheme, you'll see MBR and GPT. Quick tip, choose GPT. If your PC uses UEFI, most modern systems do. Choose MBR if your PC uses legacy BIOS. If you're not sure, open the System Information app in Windows. Look for BIOS mode. If it says UFIE, use GPT. If it says legacy, use MBR. Once everything looks good, click start, then OK to begin creating your Zorin bootable USB. This will erase the USB, so make sure you've backed up anything important. The bootable USB drive is now ready. Next, right click on the start menu and Select Disk Management or Computer Management. Right-click your main drive, usually C, and select Shrink Volume to create unallocated space. Enter, say, 50,000 for 50 gigabytes or 100,000 for 100 gigabytes. I already have unallocated space myself. We'll use that. This will become unallocated space for Zorin OS, you don't need to format it, just yeah, leave it as unallocated. Now, restart your computer and boot from the USB. To do that, press your boot key, usually F12, F9, F2, or Escape, depending on your PC. From the boot menu, select your USB drive and press Enter. Zorin OS will load into a menu where you'll see. Try or install Zorin OS, select the first one. If you have NVIDIA drivers, select the third one. Now let's install it. Choose your preferred language and click on Install. Zorin OS. Select your layout and click Continue. Leave the checkboxes checked for Install Third Party Software and Updates. If you want, you can install updates later. Click Continue. Next comes the Installation Type screen. This is very important. You can choose Install 
Zorin OS alongside Windows Boot Manager. This options will automatically set up dual boot for you, but Will shall do it manually, which is better. So choose something else. Now select the unallocated space you created and make a new partition. For the mount point, select the forward slash, which means root, and Zorin will automatically you know, create the home directory and other folders. If you want, you can separate and create a partition for the home directory, but we shall keep it simple. The partition has been created. Now, a quick note about how the boot system works. When you install Zorin OS alongside Windows, both operating systems will actually share the same EEFI system partition. That's the small Windows boot manager partition. Basically, Zorin doesn't create a new one. Instead, it adds its own boot files inside the existing Windows boot partition. After installation, the Grub bootloader, that's Zorin's boot manager, takes over and lets you choose between Zorin OS or Windows 11 each time you start your PC. And so they both share the same EFI slash boot partition, and that's completely normal when dual booting but you can separate them in the next video. We'll show you, but it is an advanced method here. We are keeping it simple. Under device for bootloader installation, make sure your main drive is selected. It is selected by default if you have only one drive in your PC. Now click install now. Select your time zone and set your username and password. Now, Zorin will start installing. This usually takes around 10 to 20 minutes, depending on your system. Click the arrow icon if you want to see what is happening. When installation is done, reboot and remove your USB when it asks you to. You'll now see a boot menu where you can choose between Zorin OS and Windows 11. Let us boot into Windows first. Let us now boot into Zorin. If you ever decide to remove Zorin OS, let me show you how, how you can do that. Open Disk Management and delete the Zorin OS partitions. 
Now, if you ever open disk management in Windows after installing Zorin, you might want to know which partition actually belongs to Zorin OS. Here's how to tell one. The Zorin partitions will not have a drive letter. You won't see something like C on, or D2. They usually appear as healthy, the um, primary partition. But the file system column will be blank because Windows can't read Linux file systems like XT4. Three, you might also see a small swap partition if Zorin created one. So if you see partitions with no drive letter and no file system shown, those are your uh, Zorin OS partitions. You can extend your C drive to reclaim that space. But in my case, I can't since we have another partition between the two. Anyway, you can use a tool like Gparted to move the small partition to the left and reclaim the space. I have a video on how to do this. Next, open the command prompt and run these commands. This command will list the disks in your system. The other disk is my flash drive. Select disk zero, which is usually the main disk. This will list the partitions on your disk. Look for the one that says system. Select the drive and assign a drive letter to it. As you can see there, it says Ubuntu, that is Zorin. Zorin is based on Ubuntu. So now just delete that folder. Now restart your PC and you'll boot straight into Windows 11 again. And that's how you dual boot Zorin OS 18 with Windows 11 from start to finish. If this video helped you, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.